A Stephen ministry is this. It is a ministry where people are trained and then commissioned and released to do ministry here at Good News Church. They spend 50 hours learning. And what they commit to then in that 50 hours is that uh, they will meet with people who maybe are just struggling through some heartaches of life. Maybe they've lost uh, a family member. Maybe someone has passed away. And, and Stephen ministers will come alongside and they will walk with people who are hurting. And they will do it for up to a year. They will commit to meeting every week for an hour uh, to listen and have a conversation and to walk through and, and help us as we're struggling. And really the reason that we uh, discovered Stephen ministry was because of this. Because as we grew and as we got larger, we discovered this. I just couldn't meet all of the needs of people who were hurting. And so we have raised up people from within our congregation who then go and do this. And think of this. When we have 25 to 30 Stephen leaders or ministers who go out every month or every week to meet with people, that's 25 hours of care that we give to people who are hurting that I can't do. And so we are so grateful that God has uh, raised up Stephen leaders who spend time training and also then Stephen ministers who use their gifts and talents uh, to, to really do and be God's hands and feet. So today, I want to invite them up. Uh, is Mark still here? I don't see, is Mark here? There he is. Come on up, Mark. Mark and Henry. There he is. Come on up here, Henry. And then Amy and Rhonda. Come on up here as well, please. These men and women are part of the class that began January and have completed their 50 hours of training and today is the day that we are going to commission them, meaning that we are going to, uh, to bless them, we're going to pray over them, we're going to lay hands on them and uh, pray over them as well uh, for the ministry that God has called them to. And now, Henry, I know that you're from Northwest Iowa and that's okay, we're still going to allow you to come in, you must have snuck across this morning. No, I'm just kidding. I'm Northwest Iowa as well. So Henry actually is from, uh, I believe, Carmel, right? The Reformed Church in Carmel, Iowa, and, and came up and did the studying and the training with our group, and uh, we're still going to bless you and lay hands on you as well today. Now, as part of that, there's some things that we need to do and, and some questions that we need to ask. And so, brothers and sisters, you have been equipped to serve as Stephen ministers here at Good News Church and at Carmel Reformed. So praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our troubles, so that we may comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we have received from God. That's from 2 Corinthians chapter 1. Now, each of you have been comforted by God with the good news of Jesus' life, death, and resurrection for you. We ask you now to join in serving our Lord and those in our congregation in our neighborhood who need to be comforted. As the Lord Jesus has responded to your needs, we ask you to strive to be responsive to the needs of others. As the Lord Jesus took the burdens of the world on his shoulders and has been a friend to you in troubled times, we ask you to strive to be responsive to the needs of others. As the Lord Jesus took the burdens on his shoulders and has been a friend to you, we ask you to be a friend to those who are burdened under the stress of daily life. And as the Lord Jesus patiently listens when you turn to him, we ask you to be a patient listener in a hurried world. As the Lord Jesus has broken down the barriers that separated you from God, we ask you to heal divisions wherever you find them and strive to make people whole. As the Spirit of Christ has given you gifts for service, we ask you to use your skills and your talents to help those people whom you serve and to pray for them. And as the Lord Jesus has shown his care to you, we ask you to help this congregation grow as a caring community through your own caring ministry. And finally, as the Lord Jesus has revealed his presence to you through faith, we ask you to share your personal experiences of faith with those around you so that they too may celebrate the presence of Christ in our world today. And so now I ask you these questions. Are you prepared to meet those requests 
that we ask of you? If so, please say yes with the help of God. Are you prepared to nurture the skills you have learned and use them in service to others to support, encourage, build up, and comfort people in all of their needs? If so, please say yes with the help of God. And good news, we ask you, members of this church, to open your hearts to the ministry of these people, to pray for them, that they may be effective servants of Christ. Are you prepared to meet this request? If so, please answer yes with the help of God. And we also ask you to accept their ministry when you need help, to allow these individuals to work with you as you faith face struggles in your life, that you might receive support and help from your Christian brothers and sisters. And if you are prepared to meet that request, please answer yes with the help of God. And then again, are you prepared to serve as Stephen ministers here at Good News Church and at Carmel Reformed Church? If so, please say yes with the help of God. And now we're going to bless them. So I'm going to have you guys move forward. And if you are uh, a Stephen minister, a Stephen leader here at Good News Church, we invite you to come up. We're going to surround these people and, and pray for them. But I also want to invite our uh, leadership. So if you've ever served on consistory here at Good News, whether as an elder or a deacon, uh, currently or formerly, uh, please come on up here as well. Because again, we're going to surround them and we're going to pray over them today. And here's what I'm going to ask you to do. Just move in close, and if you'll place a hand on them, and if you can't reach them, just go ahead and place your hand on the person behind you, and let us bless them and pray over them. Let's bless them. May the Lord Jesus, who has graciously called you to, his, to be his disciple, now strengthen you by his spirit for the ministry and the ministry to the world. Jesus said, Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of the world. Know that he is with you in every situation. Blessed is the person whose strength is the Lord Jesus. May you ever find strength in him for your ministry and for your life. May you stand firm on the foundation of Jesus Christ, and he will be faithful to you. Blessed is the person who trusts in the Lord as God has loved us in Jesus Christ, may God bless you as you share with others the love you have received from God. May God richly bless you that you might be a blessing to others. May the Lord Jesus keep you in his grace in all you do from this day forth. And may the God of peace keep you sound in body, mind, and spirit and strengthen you for the ministry to which you have been called. And may the Spirit dwell in you richly, filling you with joy and peace and courage for all of the endeavors that the Lord has for you. And because you have promised to faithfully serve the Lord Jesus and his people as Stephen ministers, I pray over you and commend you to the care and guidance of the Holy Spirit as you turn in care for others. May you work hard Use the skills you have learned, releasing the gifts and talents the Spirit of God has given you so that you might be a blessing to the people you meet and care for. May you continue to study and reflect upon the situations you encounter. Pray for the people whose lives you are privileged to share. And may you be free to share your own personal frustrations and needs with others so that you might receive the same kind of care and love you offer to others. But I pray that you will act boldly and without fear, for Christ is with you. And may the God of peace sanctify you wholly, and may your spirit and soul and body be kept sound and blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, in whose name we pray, amen. One of the things that we would like to give you is Susan is going to pass out some certificates. Susan is part of our Stephen leadership team and has helped with the training and organization of all the things that go on, and we just want to say congratulations. Thank you for giving of your time and your talents and your energy, and we trust that God is going to richly bless 
and use you in amazing ways as you walk with and encourage and encounter people who need comfort. And we want to say thank you for all that you've done, are doing, and have yet to do by doing this. And as you're seated, may the Lord bless you and keep you in all you do and say. And congratulations again, Amy. Thank you so much. Rhonda, appreciate it. Henry, thanks so much.